Welcome back to my channel. This is Raina from the Raina's Kitchen. Okay, if you invite me to a cookout, this is what I'm bringing. Nice snapper fish stuff with kalaloo. You can put it in the oven or you can throw it on the grill, but this is what I'm pulling up with. So let's get started. Stay tuned. All right, so let's dive right in. So I have four nice, beautiful snapper right here. Um, picked them up from the farmer's market. As you can see, they already cleaned, they already trimmed them, but I'm just getting the excessive scale off because you don't wanna you know, eat your fish and running into scales. For some reason, there's always scales up under the, right there by the belly where they cut the fish and down by the tail, see scales flying still, and then up by the head. So just make sure you just, you know run a knife through it see look at that all the scale flying all right so i'm gonna get all of that off wash it down with some lime um and water and just go through the process look at all that scale on the knife and then um these these fish are probably about a pound each you can use any fish to you know to stuff i like grouper um you can use some people use croaker pargy um any fish of your preference um, will work with this. As long as it has a little cavity, you can um, stuff it in. Some people even use the filet and just put the, the color loo underneath the filet and do it that way. So anything, if you don't like fish with bone, you know, pick whatever, whatever you, whatever your preference is. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this nice and clean and then we'll move along to the next step. And as you can see, after, you know, getting all the scale off, just make sure you wash it off because it's still some excessive scale there. I'm going to go ahead and wash off the basket. Look at that. I'm just, just make sure you just clean up everything well. That's, that's the main thing with cooking. Just keep everything clean. go through the same process so yeah all right rubbing them down with the lime and i'm gonna wash them off again because i don't want the lime a part of my um it's not a part of my rest of the ingredients so it's just to clean it up all right so after cleaning the fish i go through the next step which is you know getting some of the water off i just put them on a paper towel pat dry them down um don't want too much excessive water so just pat them down, see how beautiful they look? All right, let's take a roll, take a spin your roll, fish, spin your roll. All right, so I'm gonna move on to the next step. I have, oops, that foil paper is finished. Um, I'm going to use the smaller foil paper. Well, as long as you have heavy duty foil paper, you don't have to worry about double wrapping them. I'm not gonna double wrap them. Um, just got everything in single wrap. All right, so I have my onion, scallion, thyme, garlic, scotch bonnet, Tomato, that's for the, um, to put in a Kalaloo. There's my Kalaloo. I'm using canned Kalaloo. I don't have any fresh Kalaloo right now. I'm in that, um, I'm in Georgia, Marietta, Georgia. So, uh, I, it's not Kalaloo um, time yet, but usually when it is, I can get some fresh Kalaloo at the market or, um, have some in my backyard growing. All right. So I'm using the seasoning that I'm using. I'm putting some on the fish. Just rubbing it down and i'm actually gonna use the rest to to season up the color loo. so it's just a mixture of all-purpose seasoning i'm using maggie which is my favorite seasoning to use so i use about a tablespoon of maggie um, a teaspoon of the fish seasoning um, then i have half a teaspoon of salt half a teaspoon of the pepper and whatever is left over after seasoning the fish just make sure you rub inside the cavities the outside the head just get everywhere. After, you know, getting the fish, I'll use the rest to, to season up my kalalu. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Okay.
all right so that is it and usually see there it is i'll change and gloves two to three times during my cooking process anyways so let me get that one out the way um i just like using my gloves i don't want to be no bone sticking me in let's just make everything nice and easier so i am getting my color loo ready while the fish is over there marinating um you can actually season your fish overnight but i usually let it marinate for about a an hour or so just to soak up some of the seasoning all right so i'm adding my onion the scallion the tomato garlic and i have thyme and scotch bonnet so that's what i'm using to to do the kalaloo and like i said the kalaloo is already cooked because it's from the can so it does not need to to stay on the stove too long all right so don't overcook it it's already cooked All right, so just toss this around in the pan for a few minutes and then we're gonna add the kalaloo. So some people add carrot. Um, I'm not adding any carrot today, it's optional. Sometimes I'll add um, chocho, which I think, um, you know, it's a farmer squash, choyote, um, but it's up to you if you wanna add it. So one thing I do add is okra. What is fish without okra? It's crazy, when I was growing up, I couldn't stand okra. It was just so nasty and slimy. But now, oh my God, if, if I'm eating fish, especially like steamed fish, roast fish, and it's like, yeah, okra is a must for me. So you can pick up some fresh okra from the farmer's market or buy the frozen one. Sometimes I'll, I'll just keep the frozen one on hand because if you don't use a fresh one within a few days, it's going to go bad. So I'm just going to go ahead and add my additional seasoning. Um, to the kalaloo and then i'm also going to be adding a little bit all right um, get rid of the coconut oil all right so i'm also going to be adding um that's that grace cock soup mix without the noodles it just gives it a, a nice flavor so that's what i'm using and i'll least <clears throat> list everything in my description box for you so after i add all the ingredients the kalaloo is the last thing that i'm dropping in because like i said it's already cooked it's a canned kalaloo so it doesn't um need much time on the stove because we're gonna take this delicious mixture and stuff it in the cavity of the fish and then we're gonna wrap it up and um, stick it in the oven Let me just add a little water stick it in the oven for about 30 minutes on 475 degrees and I usually even after the 30 minutes I'll let it broil for like another five minutes you can do that if you wanted to to have that you know that darker looking roast but it's it's usually ready within 30 minutes and i'm also dropping about a tablespoon of the green my green seasoning in here that recipe is further down on my channel so you can check that out also all right so just you know get the right amount of foil paper just rip off uh, whatever portion i think i'll need um see i already have some over there i've started i am going to spread this um coconut oil over the foil paper just to make sure the fish doesn't stick or you can use butter or whatever oil of your preference butter does well but i just love coconut oil see i'm stuffing the fish and then after stuffing it i'm just gonna put a little butter on the top um and then i'm gonna add the scallion and some thyme on it so you know it's it's, it's nice and seasoned and it's, it's gonna taste so delicious When I visit Jamaica, these pan um, jerk fish or roast fish man on the Bredilla's Road, anywhere is like, that's like one of the things is a must for me. So um, definitely enjoy preparing this and see, it's very easy. It's, it, it looks hard, but it's not. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and stick them on this tray and we're going to bake them 30 minutes at 475 degrees. So I'll see you back in 30 minutes.
All right, it, it's been about 30 minutes. Let's get them out of the oven. We can see the deliciousness that awaits us. All right, so I'm going to have this with some rice and peas today. You can, um, sometimes I'll put the crackers at the bottom, the water crackers, and it, it just, you know, steam, it tastes like a steam fish and crackers. See how nice it looks? Oh my God, it tastes so good. All right, so everything is nice and flavorful. Let me go ahead and remove the skeleton and the thyme. Um, the kalaloo is fully cooked with this process. Let me show you the next one. All right, see, I'm gonna bring it closer so you can get a better view. Let me turn it around this time. So, see, all right, look at it. Steaming, steaming. Look at all the juices flowing, coming right out of the fish. I did, don't add too much water. It's just giving it its own juices are springing. All right, so, and please go ahead and comment in the comment section. Tell me what you paired it up with. Let me know if you're enjoying these videos. Look at the color though, it tastes so good with the okra. All right, um, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Um, hit that notification bell. So as soon as I post these videos, you get that alert. So I'm gonna transfer this fish to my plate. See, I didn't wanna break it. So I'm using, I'm gonna use both of these um, spatulas to get it over. Makes it easier to transfer it, okay? And um, yeah, pair it up with whatever you want. Eat it with festival, bread, whatever you want. So there it is. Nicely paired up with the rice and peas. I have some avocado pear, I have salad, the color will pop in. So thank you again for watching and I will see you on the next video. Bye.